days ago, my friend and I had a conversation and she was telling me how the food at San Dang Yi takeaway store is really, really good. And she was saying how like cheesecake is really good, the marble cake is really good. And I was like, wow, it makes me want to try it out. A newly packaged Tabasco sauce. We are going to try this traditional Portuguese snack. It's called bacalhau. I usually eat it with Tabasco, okay? And I know that my house, we didn't have Tabasco. I literally bought this just for this food review, okay? I even had a receipt, bruh. I would describe it like fried mashed potatoes with some codfish and it's really good. Like every time I go to a Portuguese restaurant, I always order bacalhau. Mm. You can never go wrong with bacalhau. It has that like potato, kind of that creamy texture to it. And it's like a little bit crispy outside. It'll be really, really good when it's like piping hot, okay? It's like when it's piping hot, it's like, and just like, you know, just deep fried. Oh, that taste is so, so fragrant. It smells so good. It's like fries. You can never go wrong with fries, okay? There's no one size fits all kind of recipe because you can put anything inside the fillings. It's kind of like every grandma cooks a little bit differently, right? There's stuff with like black fungus, carrot. I'm not sure if there's any meat actually. There might be no meat um, just from what I'm seeing right now, but it was really, really crispy. Like when I was just cutting it just now, it was like, and all the pieces are like, you know, falling apart. From what I'm seeing, there's absolutely no meat to it. The carrots add a little bit sweetness to it. And that black fungus just adds like texture. And it's like outside, it's coated with like crispy, um, uh, like crispy wrap to it. Deep fried, mmm, it smells really good too. Like yo, I don't recommend this if you're like eating outside and you have like no plates or anything because this can get really, really messy. You know, if you don't have plate and everything is small, you'll be like, ah! Oh Literally, like I went to like a few websites just to take a look and everyone was like, oh my gosh, the marble cake is like really good. Like I highly recommend all these kind of things. It kind of smells like banana, banana loaf. Like a really nice swirl right here. So they literally cut it up. They sell it by a piece. So they just like cut, 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 cut. It's really thick on the top. It's really thin at the bottom. Like it's not cut evenly. The swirls, oh my gosh. Like look at this. It looks so pretty, right? Or to me, it kind of tastes like brownie and pound cake. Like it's not as heavy as the pound cake, but it's not super, super sweet. I personally like it if they add some walnut in here, but again, I think it's just like peanut restrictions because it's at the hospital. So there are things that it's better to not to have just in case some people have some peanut allergy. I actually quite like the crust, like the crust, uh, they bake it, so you know the top layer of the crust, it's a little bit harder than the rest of the cake. It's actually a little bit bigger than I thought. You know, compared to like when you go 7-Eleven, when you buy those like egg pudding cups, this is legit bigger than the egg pudding cups from 7-Eleven. Mmm, this is pretty smooth. Let me put it in like a little bit of caramel sauce. Do you see this deep? dark brown color. It's a little bit harder texture, like a crunchier texture. A little bit of bitterness to it. But that part is like, soaks up the most caramel compared to like the white eggy parts. I mean, this is a pretty nice snack actually. I quite like it. It's like super smooth. Like I ate an egg pudding that's like not smooth at all. It was kind of hard, like a jello type, but kind of like a hard jello. But it's actually like smooth, it's like a baby's bum. <laughs> And it's actually quite surprising because usually like from what I know, like for these like hospital food, you're kind of like, 
eh, like you don't expect too much from it. But from what I tasted to it, it's actually way better than I thought. Like there's literally no menu. So what you see on the counter, just order. Just go like, I want this, 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 this kind of thing. It surprises me how they don't have like a canteen area for the hospital. Maybe I'm wrong because I just went in really quickly. I went in like five minutes. It came out uh, right away. But compared to like the hospital in Canada, for example, like they have like a canteen place. You know, they have like fried noodles, uh, fried rice, and like a, a lot of different things there. But here it's very, very limited for food. Let me know how it goes and I'll talk to you next time. Bye bye!